Oh, no, 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 don't, don't eat this. Don't eat this. That's bad. Hold on. Wait, that's spoiled. Put it down. Please don't eat that. You're going to get sick. Oh, my gosh. We have to teach her so many things. And welcome back to another episode of the royal family. So we have a very fun episode planned as you can tell Kellen and Megan are going to be bringing home a surprise from Salvadorada So we are going to see them towards the end of this video We have a few other things to do first We're going to be focusing a little bit on Han and his family and then we are also going to be seeing Arya and Gabriel And if we have time, we're gonna go see Ariana and Thomas So I'm not sure if we're going to have time, but if not, we will get to them in the next episode So if you're excited for this video, make sure you hit that like button. All right, so this right here is Princess Tai and Admiral Zhang's home. So this is literally right next to the palace that we have been at before, as you can see off in the distance. If you're interested in downloading this home, it's called Small Japanese Home. It has no custom content and it is by Marion0308. But so it is Han's birthday. And since the last episode, so I had mentioned that Han's father, he had had just kind of had a lot to think about. I mean, Araminta just put the entire family in their place pretty much. So they were just very thrown off by that. So Han's father, he kind of just realized what he's been doing. He's not really one to open up at all. But so this morning was, it's hot. Well, it's Han's birthday now. So yesterday, Han's father came up to him and said that I know tomorrow is your birthday. And I know that we usually go visit your mother's grave that day. And I know that you haven't really come with us before. Um, but he was wondering if he wanted to come with them. So Han, I feel like, was just very shocked by that, that his father was just speaking to him and asking if he wanted to come, and he didn't want to say no, so of course he, he went with them. His father has, has just kind of been trying to make a little bit more small talk with him. Like, he's trying. It's, it's hard for his father, just because it's hard for him to talk in general, but he's also just realizing what he has done to Han's childhood. I mean, Han's already turning into a young adult today, so he's kind of just missed his entire childhood. And I think that his father just wants to consider just spending more time with him and talking with him Even though Han will be moving to Glimmerbrook soon when he marries Araminta His father wants to just try his best with him and then his brother Akio He was just when they went so they went to the graveyard this morning I'm not gonna show that to you guys, but they went to the graveyard this morning and Akio was just quiet like he was just silent. He didn't really talk to Han, which is actually a very big improvement for him because he usually just insults him and talks down to him and just every chance he gets, he he just lashes out on him. And like the lashing out for Akio is coming from a place of hurt and pain. And that is just what he's been doing his entire life to Han. But his wife, Azumi, Akio's wife, Azumi, she had said to him, like, you know, Araminta was right. You guys have not been treating Han well. That's also the first time Azumi has spoken up to him too. I mean, they're an arranged marriage. Their marriage is not great. And I feel like Akio was just kind of like, like, what did you say at first? But he is realizing too that he may have been in the wrong for treating Han like this. So that's, I mean, updates on what's going on with Han and his family and maybe a little bit progression with his father and his brother. So that's definitely different. So, I mean, they weren't ready, I don't think, to like do like a cake or anything like that for him. His brother and his father, but Tai wanted to do that. Tai is really close with him, of course. So Tai and Zhang and Shen, they're they're helping, a, a, not Akio, oh God, they're helping Han celebrate his birthday. So I'm gonna have him blow up the candles. So I do feel like Tai, cause I don't think Araminta would have known that it was Han's birthday. I think Tai did maybe try to contact her. Maybe she got her number from Han's phone and said, hey, like it's Han's birthday. I was wondering if you wanted to come over and celebrate with us. Oh, Han's blowing out the candles now. He's ready to do a young adult, yay. Okay, Han is now a young adult so his so I don't know if you knew this but his aspiration was to find a soulmate which no he, he might have found already which is really cute and then he's a loner and he's active so I gotta pick another trait for him okay so I'm debating either between sweet or family oriented I feel like family oriented just because of Ty and his brother-in-law and his nephew it's just made him like love family very much and want his own family even though he hadn't felt that way when he was younger just because of his father and brother but I mean Ty was always there or, or sweet I mean he's really sweet too but he also can be a little like he was a little bit angsty as a teenager too 
Let's go with family oriented. I wonder if I can find something better later, but for now, what we'll say is family oriented. Um, but yeah, so Ty had asked Araminta if she wanted to come celebrate, but I do feel like Araminta wasn't able to. She, I don't know, had something with the kingdom that she had to deal with. But I do think that she might have texted Han and said happy birthday and said like, I'm sorry, I couldn't make it, but I would love to celebrate with you another time. I know I said that the first date would be coming up soon, so I'm planning on doing that in the next episode. So we'll have the first date in the next episode. I also know that I said we would be, at least I think I said this, that we would be aging up Charles and Bellatrix in this episode. I'm going to wait till the next episode to do that because Han is older than Charles. So I want to just do it in that order. So yeah, we'll, we'll do that in the next episode though. But yeah, so that's Han. That's the update on him and his family. So we're gonna leave them here. We'll definitely see them soon. Let me know what you guys, oh my God. Oh, Jong and, oh, I don't know if you saw that, but Jong and Ty, they're so cute. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on them. Let me know your thoughts on like the progression of Akio and Han's father, Li Wei as well. All right, so we are now at the Oasis Springs Palace because we're gonna focus a little bit on Arya and Gabriel. As you guys know, Arya's grounded. She has been passing love letters with Gabriel with the help of Kimmy. So Kimmy's kind of been like their little messenger and passing it back and forth to their houses or castles, I guess. And okay, so Arya, her parents told her that she was grounded till she was like, until her birthday, which would be, it was supposed to be like eight months away or something like that. Technically, she was not able to have her phone at all for a couple months. So she's getting that back soon. And then the rest of the grounding was more like restriction. So they weren't really going to let Ari and Gabriel see each other. However, I think they've kind of lightened up a little bit. They've, they've kind of realized that they do love each other a lot and that they have thought like if they were ever not allowed to see each other, if Nay and Philip were never allowed to see each other, if they would have done the same thing and they considered that as well. And like Nay and Philip are pretty fair parents so I think that they have decided to invite over Gabriel and his family for lunch so it's it's actually so Queen Mother Lindsay's actually here we're gonna see her and then we have of course Naya and Philip and Arya the rest of the kids are kind of gonna be doing their own thing. They're not really needed for this. I also don't know if they wanted to go to this. So yeah, there's that too. And then of course we have Gabriel and we did invite Gabriel's sister Minerva though. And then Gabriel's parents, cause you guys actually haven't seen Minerva. So I wanted you guys to see her at least. We have Earl Jack and we have Gabriel of course. All right, so Arya, she was tense before, but now she's feeling very happy, but they, they went to greet first. I think that Arya is going to get some stuff ready. So. We're gonna serve some food. Kimberly, I, oh, Manuel, oh, whoops. Okay, so I was taking pictures of Manuel with Juliet, and so he's actually at the Willow Creek Palace right now, so pretend he's just out with Juliet for now. Wanted to get away from his sisters. And then Kimmy and Aisha, they're just, they're gonna hang out and, and do their own thing. Okay, so not everyone is really sitting as much as I would like them to, but that's fine. So we have, I don't know where Minerva is, she should be here, but Gabriel's parents, we have Earl Jack, his father, and then we have Gabriel's mother. We have, of course, Philip and Naya, and Lindsay, this is Queen Dowager Lindsay or Queen Mother Lindsay. She has a face mask on, so she looks really young. And then Minerva is just standing here. I don't know why she won't come inside. All right, that's fine. Maybe Lindsay's gonna go to her and be like, what are you doing? Come sit down. But Gabriel and Arya are talking. So I do feel like now Nay and Philip are talking with the family and just saying like, we're gonna give this a chance. We know that they haven't been able to see each other much and they've been doing really well. They don't know about the love letter thing. I don't know if they would care that much, but we're just gonna, we're not gonna tell them about it. But but I think they are telling them like Arya still has her restrictions. She is not allowed to leave the house. So they're going to say that Gabriel can come here if he wants to, but they're not gonna, like they can only see each other like a few, like maybe, I don't know, once a week or something like that. I don't know, not very often. So they're saying they're going to give it a little bit of time and that this is Gabriel's last shot. So he's gotta prove himself worthy of Arya. He can't get into any fights. He can't cause any trouble at all. They can't, they don't wanna hear anything about him. They don't wanna hear that he's like, being rude to people or being mean to people because that's kind of what they had heard before. And this is the first time Arya and Gabriel have like actually seen each other, but of course they have to be here with their entire family. So they have to avoid from like kissing each other and hugging each other and just showing how happy they are to see each other. But I do think it's important for Gabriel's parents to understand just like what conditions there are and all this stuff too. So they know when Gabriel is allowed to see Arya and all that stuff. But yeah, I think I'm gonna have Arya and Gabriel just, just sneak away. They're just gonna ask if they can go into the living room 
room for a second. This is what, like exactly what we did last time, but they're just gonna do that anyway. So I think Nay and Philip are like, okay, that's fine. Like you guys can see each other for a little bit today, but like not for too long. And then the next time you guys can see each other, they'll decide that later. Maybe once a week would be too much. I don't think Nay and Philip would let them see each other that often. I do think she is going to get her phone back at least though. So there is that, but they are saying like no sneaking into her room at night. Like you're not allowed to do that. There's Lady Minerva. This is Gabriel's sister, younger sister, Lady Minerva. This is her if, you, if you've if you not met her before. All right, cool. They're alone now. So you guys, you guys can kiss and stuff. They haven't seen each other in a really long time. They haven't seen each other in like over a month. So compliment appearance. You're like, hey, you look good. But yeah, I really love Arya and Gabriel, you guys. And Gabriel knows that he has to be on his best behavior. He loves Arya. Like he really does. He would do anything for her. So he is happy to do this. I think I do need to change one of his traits. Instead of mean, I think we're gonna change it to hot-headed instead. He's, you know, working on it. Some self-improvement going on there. They're just staring at each other. It's really cute. Maybe whisper sweet. Not oh yeah, I had to move him and his mother into the uh, into the household just because they were not cooperating with what I wanted them to. Wait, Arya, come back. Where are you going? They're honestly, they're so cute and I'm really happy for them. So yeah, Nay and Philip just wanna make sure. They just wanna make sure that they're gonna be good for each other before they allow them to maybe get married. So we'll have to see. We'll definitely come back to them. I just wanted to give you guys an update on them because we haven't seen them in like six episodes or so. So just wanted you guys to see them. They're so cute and they're so happy to see each other too. And if you didn't know, Princess Aisha, she's doing her thing. Her and Maxwell aren't seeing each other anymore. She also did get grounded too from the whole Maxwell thing. But actually, so Aisha has just kind of been doing research on like how to start her own business lately. She doesn't really know what she wants to have a business in yet, but she's just curious. She just wants to do her own thing. She's really smart. She's a boss lady too. So there's that also. I think she'd be great at running her own business. And then Kimberly is doing well. Oh God. Oh, she's very intensely typing. But her and Makana are doing really well. They're really cute. They haven't said I love you to each other yet, but Makana wants to try to figure out when to say it to her. He just doesn't know when. He doesn't know how. But they're still, they're doing really well. They're really cute. And then of course, Manuel and Juliet are adorable. He's at their palace right now. So they're all good. I also did upload the Oasis Springs palace to my gallery. So my gallery ID is in the description below and you just need to make sure the include custom content box is checked. All right, so we are now at the Duke and Duchess of Windenburg's house. We're with Kellen and Megan and they have a surprise. When they were in Salvadorada, they were like building houses. They had actually met up with like Queen Zamora a little bit to like help with the charity stuff and just help the less fortunate in general. And then William met this girl, Jessica. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't eat this, don't eat this, that's bad. Hold on, wait, that's spoiled. Put it down, please don't eat that, you're gonna get sick. Oh my gosh, we have to teach her so many things. But this is Jessica. So she is who William met in Selva Dorada and this sim, so she was made by Madison. Her gallery ID is R-I-K-K-E-4444. Um, and I just made a few changes to her because I didn't have the same hair and stuff. So just a little backstory on her. So her mother was a native in Selva Dorada and her father was a traveler from Winden so yes, William had met her and they had gone along and they were playing. And then when it was time to go, Megan and Kellen, they were asking about like where she lived and if they can take her home. And she said she didn't have a home. So they decided to bring her back to Windenburg. It was like this very long discussion that Megan and Kellen had if if they should, like what should they do? Should they like bring her to an orphanage? And then Megan was just saying like, no, those places get, like are horrible sometimes. You never know. Like, we wanna make sure she's adopted by someone who is going to take care of her and that she's adopted into a good family. Actually, so this house right here, this was the Baron of Windenburg's household, but I switched the Duke and the Baron household because this one's bigger. So I thought the Duke should have the bigger house. But Megan and Kellen are more acting like foster parents for her right now. I mean, you guys are gonna have to let me know. I don't know if they're going to adopt her. I don't know if another family might adopt her. They just wanna take care of her. They just wanna make sure she has a home and that she is getting an education and all that stuff. So they're going to make sure that that is taken care of for her. Just to get to know her a little bit, her aspiration is an artistic prodigy and she has the gloomy trait. So she really had no other family and yeah, Megan and Kellen took her in. So we're gonna have like the rest of the family, like Amira and all of them. They haven't told them about it yet. They just said, hey, we have something to tell you guys. I think that they think that Megan was pregnant. I think that's what everyone said because I did say on my Instagram that they were coming home with a surprise and everyone was like, she's pregnant, I know it. And she's not pregnant actually. They weren't planning on having another kid. But I, I do think that's what Amira and Jabari and the rest of the family think. So they're gonna have to introduce Jessica to the rest of the family.
family. And I mean, William, he hasn't seen like his cousin, Alice May, grown up. They haven't, they have to see Cedric too. So they're gonna have, I guess they're gonna see them at, at the birthday party, at Charles and Bellatrix's birthday party in the next episode. That's where they'll meet everybody. But yeah, I just wanted to use this episode to introduce Jessica. I know I have a lot of requests to pay attention to other store, oh, whoops, sorry, to other stories as well. And as I've mentioned before, I will get to it. There is some order that I have to do the storylines in. So if we're not paying attention to some characters for a while, just please be patient. We will get to them eventually. It is just way too stressful to have way too many storylines. I know I just introduced another one, but I mean, we'll, we'll see Jessica grow up. So we'll be coming back and forth to this family for a while. But yeah, it's just a little stressful to have too many storylines going on. So just be patient. We'll get to the other ones later. We'll get to Selvadorada another time and pay more attention to them. We'll pay attention to Diana and everyone else, I promise. I just want to make sure that the storylines that I come out with are solid for you guys. So I don't want to pay attention to too many things at once. I just want to, you know, focus on things. So yes, um, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to get to Ariana and Sir Thomas in this episode, but we will see them in the next episode. Basically, Ariana and Thomas, they have gone out for coffee together. I mean, they are not in a relationship or anything yet. It's kind of going, it's not like slow. I guess they're just going faster than some of the other ones. But I do think maybe Ariana, I mean, she cares about what her parents think. So she wants to tell them about Sir Thomas soon. I mean, we'll see them definitely in the next episode, but she might not tell them for another few more episodes. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Let me know what you think of Jessica and Kellen and Megan and William taking her in. Let me know what you think of Han and his family and also Arya and Gabriel and what Naya and Philip are, are letting them do and just giving them a chance. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.